A Quebec woman has been living with a rare brain tumor for almost two decades. Because the surgery to remove it isn't offered in Quebec, her doctors say her only option is to go to the U.S., but Medicare is denying that request. Sasha Tiemann has the story. So this is the size of my tumor. It's the size of a pom-pom. Kellen Harding-Jones, a mother of two young children, was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor called a colloid cyst when she was 19 years old. And for the past 18 years, the tumor has been growing in size, putting her life at risk every day. Usually what happens in terms of progression and growth of a colloid cyst over 60 years um, is the same amount of progression that's happened to me in the last five or six years. During the past six years, her symptoms worsened, from extreme fatigue to memory loss, forcing her to quit her job. And since, she has been focused on finding a neurosurgeon who could perform an endoscopic surgery. I've seen multiple neurosurgeons. None of them have ever treated a colloid cyst in a surgery setting that's it's colloid cyst that's like mine. But she found one in New York. He's done 200 colloid cyst surgeries. Yeah, the, the number. And he's done them pediatrically, and he's done them um, for adults as well. Another obstacle: the surgery costs more than 170,000 U.S. dollars. She applied to Quebec Health Insurance to cover the costs, but was rejected twice. And in a letter, they say endoscopic surgeries are offered at the Shum, but doctors there recommended she get the surgery in New York instead because of the risk factors involved. They think that approach is too risky or they sort of look at it like why introduce harm if it's not 100% needed. But that's literally what they're waiting for to happen in order for them to operate here. So to help with the cost of the surgery in New York, her best friend launched a GoFundMe campaign. She is already $500 away from hitting the $100,000 mark. The GoFundMe has been um, a ray of hope. The GoFundMes are our main avenue to get this resolved at this point. And despite the daily hardships, she hopes to remind people of the importance of appreciating the day-to-day. -day. Cleaning faces and getting snacks and, you know, life happens in between those moments of, of your plans, you know, and the activities that you do. And? They laugh a lot. Because <laughs> it's just ridiculous sometimes. Sasha Tiemann, CTV News.